Hi, welcome to ERP Next video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to manage naming of transactions in ERP Next. Let's create a quotation to check how transaction ID is generated. Open new quotation. We see a field called naming series here. Transaction ID for quotation will be generated based on series selected here. Select a customer. Select an item. Save quotation. Now, you can notice that quotation ID is generated based on the series. After series, we have system generated five digit number. You can also customize value in the series field using a tool called naming series. This is the list of document types for which naming series can be customized. Let's customize series for the quotation. On selection of quotation, existing series will be fetched. You can add a new series in the new row. This is an example of naming series based on fiscal year. You can also define count of system generated numbers needed based on a hashtag. While creating a transaction, if you want to force the user to select series manually, check this field. Update. To check if naming series is updated, refresh UERP Next account and check new quotation. Now, you can see that new series are visible in the quotation. You can also set numbering for the series to start from predefined values. Suppose you want numbering for the proposal naming series to start from 47. How can we configure this? Go to naming series tool. Scroll down to Update Series section. Select the series. If you want numbering for this series to start from 47, then set current value as 46. Click on Update Series Number. Let's quickly create a new quotation to confirm if it works. Select series for which current value has been updated. Select customer. Select an item. Save quotation. You can notice that numbering of quotation ID is 47. That's because, for this series, we defined current value as 46. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, go to erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.